In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make Tech House like more P like this. So more P is a tech house producer who blew up with his really big track drugs from Amsterdam and the second one that he released was give me that bounce and I decided to do a project based on the second track so it's really close as you've heard I'm gonna show you the sound design and walk you through uh, the project and show you everything step by step how I've done that uh, and for those of you who are new to the channel my name is Lad and I create superstar music producers uh, if you're interested in uh, music coaching uh, all the links are down below feel free to send me a message or book a call let's work on your music and without further talking let's get straight into the video so the first thing that we're going to be talking about is going to be the kick and the bass so really for this track I decided to go with the loops and uh, loops sometimes is a really really easy way to just get things done quickly and um, lately especially I started doing that a lot so for the kick I just took a loop if I were to make like a track for myself then I would replace it but just for now it really helps to uh, make the track uh, faster so this is the kick a little bit of EQ here to just balance it a bit and now let's talk about the bass so the bass is also quite similar to the original track uh, I decided to go with sort of similar vibe so if we listen to the original this one is it's not like exactly the same but it's really close I don't see any point of just copying others so it's cool to make like similar sounds so uh, let me show you the preset real quick so let's disable the effects and I'm gonna go just step by step. So uh, we have the first oscillator which is basically just a regular uh, saw wave. Uh, it's mono, yeah everything is mono and uh, with a filter you can see Angelo AT. So it's like super simple sound here. And I'm uh, using I think nodes to control the cutoff of the filter. Uh, the envelope is pretty like it's pretty sustained uh, pretty sure release time and uh, when we use the second oscillator and I use it as you can see about like 50% that's the square waveform it's giving us that nice square ish kind of sound so it sounds a little bit fatter and I also used here uh, the fat and the dry from the filter a little bit just to make the sound sound more powerful. And then in terms of the effects, this is a little bit more interesting. So I'm using a tube saturation here, just a little bit of drive and like a pretty, I would say like high resonance. We could go, I think like this, it's pretty nice. And I'm using uh, envelope one to control the drive. It's a really cool technique in Serum that I like. Uh, then the next thing is the equalizer. So I boosted um, 245 hertz a little bit three, uh, at 3 dB. And then I boosted 1.2 thousand at actually like 7 dB, which is a lot. But it's giving that nice sound. We could try distortion before, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, the equalizer before the distortion. Uh, you can do as you want. It really like depends on the sound that you want to get, I think in this. They both sound good. Okay, the next thing that I've done here, I used German low pass filter, uh, a bit of resonance and drive. And I think that was pretty, pretty much it. Yeah, so it's like really, really simple. And uh, what I realized is that my bass lines, in terms of the processing and sound design, they are simple. And uh, in Tech House, that's that's really the key. So all together with the kick, sounds pretty nice. Just like classic Tech House bass, I would say. Uh, for the drums, uh, well, those are the loops. I can just quickly show you. So that's the hat. Uh, we have the clap here. 
two layers of the clap as you can see like little clap fills which sounds pretty nice and then again with loops it's just easier to get the idea down and then if you want you can always replace it or maybe you can keep the loops like really depends on you and then there's one more top loop with like hats and shakers so we are already getting that nice groove within just like three minutes after finding the right loop so with the drums I think I actually want to, no, I think that, that was good, yeah. So with the drums, it's already sounding pretty good. I have a little bit of a side chain here from the kick with a pretty long attack time. So that's without. It's giving that bounce, I like as in the reference track. Uh, and then a little bit of saturation. Again, this is not like final processing, but just something so I can already get a taste of how the final track would sound. And then we're gonna talk about the most interesting part of the track, which is going to be the synths. So uh, let's start with the, or like pluck, or the, we could say it's actually a lead sound, uh, which sounds like this. So let's uh, disable the EQ here on the channel. And let's go inside Serum and take a look uh, at the sound here. So it's actually like really, really simple. So we're gonna disable the effects and everything here. So uh, we have the one envelope, it's mono legato, like legato, it's not necessary, but I just <laughs> put it for some reason. So uh, we are detuning the oscillator. to give that sort of vibe like an original track, right? Uh, then uh, we are using the filter to roll off the high end just a bit because with the filter it's kind of too bright. Like this is good. Uh, then uh, let's go to the FX section. So with the FX it's a little bit more uh, complicated here. Uh, which one did I have? I think distortion equalizer compressor and the reverb yeah okay so for the effects let's go just step by step we have a little bit of distortion here it's a diode uh, number one it's just giving that crisp feeling to the lead sound which is pretty nice that's what we need then uh, in terms of the EQ I cut the low frequencies so that's uh, 400 Hertz and then I boosted a bit of mids here because I felt like in the original track uh, this lead sound, it had that uh, boost in, in the mids. I would say like with this EQ settings, it becoming a bit more visible in the mix, I'd say. Uh, the compressor is the multi-band compressor. So it's giving that pretty bright sound. And then the reverb. I think we don't even need the reverb here because I have it on the channel. Yeah, so all together right now. Pretty nice. And you can really experiment with the sound depending on what kind of um, vibe and mood you want to get. Maybe you want to go for the brighter, then just use OTT. Uh, in this case, I think it... I actually like it. Maybe a bit less high frequencies here. Pretty nice. So that's uh, the main lead sound, which is like just really, really simple. Um, let's go to the next sound, which is uh, I'm actually gonna steal that for my tracks because it's such a good sound. And with the kick and the bass, it just sounds so good. So let's take a look at the sound design here. So what we're gonna do, let's disable everything. Uh, oh yeah, well, sound is pretty simple actually. <laughs> this is what I like. So um, the first oscillator that we're gonna be using is going to be Bipole Harmonic, which you can find in digital. So uh, this is how it sounds. Pretty nice. I would say sort of like drum and bassy-ish kind of sound. 
So uh, the envelope one is pretty sustained with the long release because I want to have that tail. Uh, then we're going to use the second oscillator, so oscillator B, and you want to find the MB saw and put it around like 218. So it's giving that nice crispy feeling because this one is like it's pretty soft, but with the saw sounding crisp and nice, like a little bit gritty, I would say. So from the oscillator B, we would need to use FM synthesis at about 24, 25% ish. And that's like pretty much it. So without the filter, this is the sound. And then we're using the filter. So it's Angelo 18 on both oscillators and <coughs> we're going to be using LFO one to control the cutoff of the filter. And this is also like the envelope for LFO one. So the rate I've said about uh, one Hertz, which sounds like you can play with that. So depending on, again, your track, the vibe that you want to go for, you can pick the right uh, rate here. Uh, don't forget to enable the uh, envelope mode here. So it's like re-triggers. So that's pretty much it for the oscillators. Also, don't forget Mono Legato. And here you want to set it to always. And I set it at about like 140. Because with this, it's giving that nice uh, glide sound here. Okay, so in terms of the processing, again, really simple. Uh, just a bit of saturation here. Which doesn't do that much, actually. So I think the next thing that I used here was the filter. Oh yeah, and the filter is also just sort of an EQ. So I used the high pass filter uh, at 200, a little bit of drive. And this way it doesn't conflict with the bass, which is pretty nice. So all together. Like, I like the sound so much. And then uh, a little thing that I decided to add as well is that I took this sound, I put a reverb on it, and then I did like a reverse. And it just sounds so good when you play it. Take a listen. really smooth and really nice transition here because without that it, like I feel it's sort of empty but with this one it's just so so nice so essentially you just have to put like uh, the reverb here for reverb I'm using Valhalla Supermassive with uh, this preset here and you just freeze the channel like this right Then you make one more channel, you drag it here, and then uh, you just click like the reverse. And then you're gonna have a sound like this. I just didn't put the reverb here, but just wanted to quickly show you how to do it. It's really simple, but really, really effective technique uh, on um, how you can create those kind of sounds. And then uh, one more sound is this one. Sort of like dirty uh, tech house pluck. So essentially it's the same preset as the whoop bass. I think the only thing that I changed is I changed the position and the envelope. So again, essentially the same sound, just a really short envelope and um, envelope one is controlling the filter here as well. Uh, and the processing is a bit different. So as you can see, with distortion and the filter so without that it's too fat it's not gonna work but with distortion and now with the filter we're cutting the low frequencies so just leaving the mids yeah about 300 is gonna be nice here uh, a little bit of drive and that's pretty much it and then the second drop here like i decided to add a little variation uh a bit more energy so if you listen so here we have the ride loops pretty classic sound 
I would say, even like kind of generic. <laughs> but in this part of the drop, uh, I changed the melody a bit, so added a bit of variation, but it's the same sound. Uh, and then I have the classic super saw sound here. So it's just basically detuned oscillator. So as you can see, I took the saw because it's, it's the waveform that we need. And then I took the Reese wavetable like, uh, waveform. And this one is also like pretty detuned. Uh, in terms of the effects, a bit of phaser hop, hyper dimension and distortion. So, um, like really, really simple sound. You can replicate that using different waveforms if, if you like it. This is just the one that I have for myself. So, I'm just lay layering this one on top. Like this. So it doesn't repeat all of the notes, so just this one, which is missing. But it's adding nice accent and it's adding nice, I would say like power and layer to the original sound. Without that, it would be too boring to use just like the same sound. Uh, but with this additional sound, it sounds nice. And then there's one more sound that I have here. Uh, this sound, I didn't make it, was just a preset. It's just adding a nice atmosphere to the track. So all together, sounds like this. And once again, the reference. So yeah, it sounds a little bit different in terms of like the mixing, but the style, the mood, the vibe, I think it's pretty much identical. Uh, and then again, once you copy something, then you can change it and uh, maybe find some inspiration in that because like, I'm not a fan of copying and this is why like, I'm not quite liking making just like remake tutorials. So with this one, I just decided to, hey, let's make something similar, uh, show you how to make it so you can do that as well. If you like uh, more piece style of Tech House, it's pretty cool, I like it so far. So uh, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I've shared uh, basically everything for this project, but don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, you know, all those things help a lot. And if you're interested in coaching, all the links down below. And I'll see you in the next video.